Hello, Hacienda La Puente. This is Ricardo, one of your tech tosas. And today we are going to spend some time learning how to sync our study sync um, content with Google Classroom. Yes, now we teachers have the ability to create assignments on study sync and have students completed on Google Classroom and your grades will sync between study sync and Google Classroom. And with your ability to send grades into Aries, now you will have an easier process to send grades between one platform to the other. So how do we set this up? Uh, first thing you have to do is go to your uh, study sync uh, website um, there already. You are going to sign in. I'm going to sign in now. It's going to take me into uh, my um, study sync. Uh, I'm going to go to my class right here or my teacher edition. Okay. And then once you're on the screen, you have to click again on your, um, you want to launch the study sync um, ELA. It's going to launch it for you. And once you launch it, um, I need you to go up to the top where your name is. You're going to click on the drop down arrow. Okay. You want to go to settings. Okay. And then all the way to the bottom on settings, you have something that says Google. In the past, you were able to attach your Google Drive, right? But now notice that you have the ability to attach Google Classroom, okay? I have already done this, but um, let me show you how it will work. So if I wanted to attach Google Drive and Google Classroom, I will select both of them, okay? Um, so you can see it. I'm going to sign out really, really quick. So this is um, the screen you are going to see. So you will say sign in with Google. Okay, it's going to look for your Google account. Um, I will ask you to use the one that says hlpnet.net because that is the one that is connected to your Aries um, gradebook. So we're going to select that one. So you'll have the ability to push grades, right? Um, later on, when you are functioning at a Google Classroom, it doesn't matter if you're using hlpnet or hlpusd because hopefully by then you have uh, made yourself a co-teacher in the class. So I'm going to sign in with my HLPNet Google Classroom. It's going to read it. Notice that now I have the option to um, sync my Google Drive and also my Google Classroom. I'm going to check that they are working properly. So it looks like they are ready to go. Make sure you, make sure you save the settings. So now I have done everything. I want to go to my users now. Over here, you will see all of your classes. Okay. And do not worry when the first time that you do it, if you see something that says out of sync, it says out of sync because your students have not signed in yet. And there's a whole different process for students to sign in because they have to attach their Google um, account to study sync, just like you are doing now. And this is due to the way our district has set up the accounts for the kids. They use, they use a genetic password. So we need to attach each Google Drive. Uh, from our students point of view. So I'm going to go to this teacher's period four class. I'm going to click on it, the little Google um, option right here to link the Google Classroom. It's going to read my Google Classrooms and it's going to say, which classroom do you want to attach? So I'm going to attach period four. Okay. So notice that I have period four right here. So I'm going to attach that class. Okay. So that's what you're going to be doing. Once you select it, you just link it. Okay. And that's the process that you need to do. Once you have set that up, okay, you can go to assignments. You can create an assignment. I'll show you how to do that right now, okay? So I'm going to create an assignment. I'm just going to do a writing assignment right now, okay? I'm going to give it a name. And then for in this case, I'm just going to do test. Um, do not complete because I don't want the kids to um, uh, worry that this is an assignment they have to do. But when you are doing it, you're actually going to give it the right name and so on and so on. Now, when you go to target, you want to make sure that you send it to the correct class. So notice that um, you will get the option to send it to the classes that are um, enabled with Google Classroom. So I'm just going to select my period three. Okay. Uh, you can give it a due date, right? Uh, an end date and a review date. You can also allow late or customize. But when you're ready, you're going to create the assignment. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like when you create the assignment. What you are going to see is that it has been assigned to Google Classroom. I'm going to go into Google Classroom now. 
for the period that I assigned the assignment. Notice that it's right here. It says test, do not complete right now. When your students log in, they're basically gonna go in there, okay? And then we have a video that would explain how the kids are going to sign into StudySync before they can access their assignments on Google Classroom. So stay tuned for that video coming up next. Have a great day. To integrate your students with StudySync, first have them go to my.myhageducation.com. And then they will log in. At hlpnet.net, using their same password. APC12345 and login. Okay, then log into Study Sync. Don't log into the Google right away, which is what you just saw. Log into Study Sync, go to Settings, and then to this Google screen right here, and then they're going to sign in with Google. using their Google password. And then enable Google integrations. You should find them. They're going to select their username. Allow. and save the settings. Then they should be able to go to their Google Classroom find their class, find the assignment from Study Sync, and when they select the assignment They'll be signed in and logged in. And here's the assignment.